everybody. It's your favorite minister back again, Reverend Fuzzy. <laughs> and I thought I'd come by and give you a low down on a little something that went down recently. Uh, to get you up to speed first, a lot of people don't remember, but uh, back in the late 1980s, I had a television show called Learn Your Color Computer. It, uh, it was based upon programming the Tandy Color Computer, which they affectionately called the Coco. And the series ran for about 13 weeks in New Orleans. Well, I've known that uh, currently that TV show is still active and alive on, on DVD and being mirrored on a couple of YouTube channels. But otherwise, I thought it had gone into complete obscurity. And the uh, nice people over at the Coco Talk TV show contacted me. And they said, how would you like to be a special guest on our TV show? So I thought, sure, why not? So, this past Saturday, uh, which would have been January 21st, no, not 21st, uh, 25th, January 25th, I went on to their show. It's pretty nice. Got to talk to people who still apparently thought my TV show and me were the bee's knees. <laughs> but uh, enough of the remembering for a moment. Take a look at this clip of it. Our very special guest, which we cannot thank Rondell, though, enough for, and we cannot thank Christopher himself for being here. But without any further ado, we are going to spotlight Mr. Christopher May May you right? May you? That's correct. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you. All right. So this is where we play This Is Your Life. Let me just start off by saying this. For those of you, how about we just do this? How about we do a little bit of a tease? I'm going to show off a little something from uh, a little something from YouTube, and this is I'm going to call you the uh, the inventor of the color computer inform informative video series because this goes back to way back in the day. But if you haven't seen this on YouTube, how about we just start off with a little and listen to that music? Is this music done on a Coco? Yes, it was. All right. Learn your color computer. It's really loud. Is it really loud? Yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, Ron. What was that? It was too loud. Yeah, that's why. That? Right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. The Coco Sig from New Orleans. Hi, and welcome to Learn Your Color Computer. So let's begin. All right. I'd like to say a few words about and you the haven't aged today. in the computer community today. Look at you. <laughs> and that's the closet oh, computers. Wish. They're the ones that end up in your closet, alone and neglected, after a few fun hours with playing some games. And this... This usually takes place... That statement right there has never been truer, and we'll talk about that as we talk about many things, but... Get your Cocos out of the closet, right? And and that was a true statement 40 years ago. It's a true statement today, too. So now that we've introduced a, one of the many things you've done, now we'll go ahead and play This Is Your Life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would you all like to know? How did you get started in the Tandy Color Computer, or was there another machine before it? Uh, that was my first. It was uh, a Coco 1. It had 4k believe it or not and regular basic and this, i just upgraded it a little at a time from there is this back in 1980 or 81 hmm, that was in 82 okay is that when you started making the videos no that was much later back in 89 cool. wow so how did you get those videos published like publicized or like um, show well them. it is it's very simple a lot of uh, a lot of cities have a contract with uh, with their cable companies that require them to have a public access channel 
Hmm. And th that usually requires them also to make studios and equipment available to just about anybody that they want to give a crash course to. So we went that route. They still do that today. So that was actually yeah. record, and I was going to say it. Do, it did very much have that look and feel of a cable public access type show, and so you literally recorded that at a local cable company public access setup. Oh yeah. Oh well, that's ultra convenient, right? You had cameras, you had lights, camera action, right? Oh, most definitely. We had all the equipment right there available to us. In fact, we uh, made a trip down to Kinko's one night to make a copy of the manuals for everything. So we'd each uh, have do have documentation on how every little function worked on everything. The edit controller, the switcher, the character generator, even the audio mixer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, pretty slick, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I'm going to let you get back to what you were doing now. Just thought I'd let you catch up on what's going on. My, my loyal subscribers need to be in the know. <laughs> catch y'all later.